Hello everybody, welcome to this massive open online course on solid fluid operations. Uh, this uh, solid fluid operation course is developed basically for the learners of chemical engineering, civil engineering and uh, mining and metallurgical uh, engineering students. And objective of this course is to develop the skill of the undergraduate students of science and engineering and technology on the basic science and technology related to the characteristics and processing of solids in presence and absence of fluids. And this course belongs to 12 modules. Each module will have 3 lectures. So, there will be a total 36 lectures on this topic, on this uh, course. And each topic will be discussed uh, with ample of examples with solved problems. The salient features of this course is that this course is made so easy to understand the basic concepts of the solid fluid operations for the undergraduate students. And also this course will be discussing with ample of examples which will be solved and discussed with some instances and also some videography will be shown on its topics so that the students can understand the topics and its uh, basic fundamentals easily. And also the topics will be discussed in such way that what are the probable gate type of questions can possible that will also be you know discussed in this course and relevant some MCQs questions on the topics also to be discussed in this course. There will be a total 12 modules which will be you know covered different topics such way that the topics which will be you know generally taking from the different institutes or universities what they are following and based on that topics this course is developed or structures and in this course total 12 modules of like what is the overview and characteristics of the particles, what is the size reduction and how that size reduction happens, how size enlargement of the particles will be happening and also flow you know passed on uh, emerged bodies that will be discussed and uh, there will be two modules that will be discussed on the separation of the particulate materials, what are the different methods and the instruments that are being used in industry for the separation of the particulate materials and also in this topics we will be having the module of mixing of solids and liquids and what are the different design parameters of that mixing of solids and liquids and how that mixing parameters will be helpful for designing the equipments that also to be discussed. And also there will be other modules like filtration and uh, flow of fluid through the granular beds of the solid. So, that will be you know discussed how that hydrodynamic conditions will be changing during that flow of uh, fluid through that granular beds like what are the friction uh, resistance that will uh, gonna happen uh, in this uh, granular beds where that fluid will be flowing through the beds. There will be special two modules will be discussed in this topics or in this course you can say and those topics will be very helpful for the students, those who have the inclination to do the higher studies or research. So, for them it will be very useful, those uh, topics are on one modules will be based on nanoparticles, their uh, introductions and uh, how that nanoparticles are being defined and also what are the different applications of the nanoparticles and uh, how that nanoparticles can be synthesized some procedures to be discussed. Another modules that is called adsorption, you will see that industry most of the applications uh, for separation processes of some gaseous or liquid molecules which is being adsorbed on the solid surface. So, in that case adsorption phenomena will be discussed in this module of adsorption of uh, solid particles, adsorption capacity of solid particles and also what will be the different mechanism and kinetics of that you know adsorption process that also to be discussed in this module. So, in the last two modules that will be on nanoparticles and adsorption and these two modules will be very helpful for you for further uh, study after undergraduate also. 
So, this course belongs to 12 modules, these modules will be having 3 lectures and total then 36 lectures and within this 36 lectures, this 12 modules that I have discussed will be discussed in the uh, lecture wise systematically. I think this course will be very helpful for you for developing your skill on this process of solid fluid where uh, you know that uh, process will be involving by interaction of the solid and liquids. So, I will invite you to register this course and uh, learn this course for your you know skill development and in this case I wish all the best for you and thank you.